Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Avocado consumption has been increasing significantly during the past few years, highly driven by the increase in interest towards a more healthy diet and more healthy eating habits and the very healthy properties that avocados have, which I won't be detailing here right now because I'm certainly not an expert in nutrition or food properties. In the graph in the screen, you see the consumption of avocado in the US, which has been increasing significantly and is sitting at all-time highs. I would have loved to bring also a similar graph for global consumption, but I couldn't find it. What I did find though is the avocado production worldwide, which also reflects the demand, as there wouldn't be such an increase in production if there wasn't an increase in consumption as well. So the question seeing this picture and if you believe that avocado consumption will continue to increase also in the future would be how can I invest or benefit from this growth in avocado consumption globally? And actually more than that, which companies can I buy specifically to benefit from this growth in avocados? In today's video, first of all, I will give you some statistics and numbers which I think are worth knowing up front before investing in avocados and afterwards I will be detailing a few companies which have direct exposure to avocados and theoretically if avocado consumption continues to increase they should also continue doing better and hopefully also generate returns for you as an investor. Besides the growth in consumption, what else is interesting to know about avocados? Well, the first thing is that they grow mostly in warm climates, with Mexico being the largest producer in the world by far, followed by other countries like Dominican Republic, Peru, Indonesia, Colombia, Brazil, Kenya, the US or Israel. Per capita consumption has been increasing, but there's still room for growth in many areas of the world. The average consumption in Europe is approximately 1.33 kilograms per capita only. In the United States, this is of 3.8 kilograms, Canada 2.5 kilograms, and then Mexico, the world's largest producer of avocados, as we said, even consumes six, between 6.5 and 7 kilograms per capita. They need a lot of water. And when I say a lot of water, I really mean a lot of water. On average, to produce one kilogram of avocados, you need 283 liters of water. Again, this is just an average because due to the rise in popularity of avocados, there have been plantations put into place in places of the world which are extremely dry. And this has led to conflicts, especially with local populations regarding the use of the water. In the picture in the screen, you can see the comparison of how many liters of water it takes to produce one avocado. On average, it is 70 liters, but in a very dry region of Chile, it takes 320 liters. In comparison, a tomato only needs 5 liters and an orange 22 liters. Partly related to this, two small avocados have a carbon footprint that is twice the amount of a kilo of bananas in the UK. This is because of the complexities involved in growing, ripening and transporting the popular green fruit. Healthier lifestyle for you, but maybe not so good for the environment. Then we get to another point, which is the crime surrounding avocados. As I already mentioned at the beginning, most of the global production happens in Mexico, and this is precisely the place where organized groups are taking advantage of this green gold, referring of course to avocados. On the one hand, the rise in popularity has of course benefited farmers that now have higher margin margins and are able to get more out of the avocados that they are producing, so good. But on the other hand, there are these crime groups that are just taking advantage of the farmers very often what they do is that they offer their protection in exchange for part of the profits but this is just one of the alternatives because of course there are others like stealing avocados and many other things which are of course not positive at all. Now that we have had a look at several numbers and statistics, if you still want to invest in avocados, here are some publicly traded companies that offer exposure to this. First in the list is Mission Produce, it trades in the Nasdaq under the ticker symbol AVO and sources, produces, packages and distributes avocados in the US and internationally. Since it started trading in the stock market in October of 2020, it hasn't done much really and currently it is at the same level it was when it went public. It is true though that it reached $23 a share at its peak and in terms of performance since 2011, they have gone from reporting $376 million in revenue to almost 900 million in 2021, so a CAGR of around 9%. Next is Calavo Growers. It trades in the Nasdaq under the ticker symbol CVGW and markets and distributes avocados, tomatoes and papayas amongst other fruits. 
And since it started trading in the stock market back in 2002, it has performed pretty well with a total return at the moment of 375%, not including dividends, although it has decreased substantially in the past few months and is now sitting at only $38, while well, it reached $100 at its peak. In terms of performance, since 2009, they have increased sales at a gigger of 10% and currently reporting around $1.1 billion annually and dividends have increased at a gigger of 7%. Currently, also, the dividend yield stands at 3.02%. Another play in avocados is Fresh Del Monte. It trades in the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol FDP and produces, markets and distributes fresh and fresh cut fruits and vegetables all over the world, including of course avocados. However, only 7% of the total sales from 2021 were from avocados, which considering that they reported in total $4.3 billion in revenues, it means that they generated revenues from avocados of around $301 million, which is still a lot of money. I mean, if you compare it to the total sales that they make, it might not seem like that much, but it definitely is. Since it started trading in the stock market, it has returned 58% at the current price, not including dividends, which I must say that it is a pretty mediocre performance. Nevertheless, at its peak, it reached $66 per share, which is significantly more than what it is right now. The dividend yield is of 2.04% and the revenues have been very stable during the past five years. Next one is Limonada. It trades in the Nasdaq under the ticker symbol LMNR and operates as an agribusiness and real estate development company in the United States and internationally. However, its focus is more on lemons than avocados. In fact, they only sell about $7 million worth of avocados every year. And considering that for the past year, they reported $161 million in total revenues, uh, this represents only about 4.3% of total sales. The stock price has returned 150% since it started trading, not including dividends, but I must say that for the most part of these past 15 years, it has been trading pretty flat. The dividend yield at the current prices is of 2.3% and over the past 6 years, revenues have increased at a gigger of 8% and the same for dividends. Next, we have Dole Foods, which trades in the Nasdaq under the ticker symbol D-O-L-E. This one engages in sourcing, processing, marketing and distribution of fresh fruits and vegetables worldwide. And it is a similar case to that of Limonera in the sense that avocado sales represent a very small portion of the total revenues of the company. I couldn't find the exact percentage that they represent, but I wouldn't assume it to be larger than 4% of total revenues. This means that taking the $6.4 billion that they reported for the past year 2021, they would have made last year $268 million in avocados, which still, when seeing this number, I think that it's probably way less than this, what they actually made. But it's important to know that you do have some exposure, even if it's just limited one, to avocados if you invest in Dole Foods. This one just went public this past summer and it hasn't been doing much in terms of stock performance. It is down 13% since the IPO and it also pays a dividend of 2.56%. Then we have two more companies which are Hormel Foods and Herdes. One trades in the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol HRL and develops, processes and distributes various meat, nuts and food products all over the world. And the other one trades in Mexico under the ticker symbol Herdes.mx. And the reason I'm mentioning both of these companies is because through a joint venture, they own the number one refrigerated guacamole brand, which is called Holy Guacamole in the US, by the way. And and you know that guacamole is made out of avocados, so in, indirectly it is also a way to invest in avocados. I couldn't find the exact sales that Holy Guacamole is generating right now, but I did find those of 2016 in which it generated $116 million in sales. And assuming that the sales haven't increased, which by the way, it's highly unlikely because the whole guacamole category, I think it has been growing at a gigger of 11%. But assuming that they didn't grow, this represents a 1% of total sales from Hormel Foods and 0.5% of the total sales from Herdes. So a very, very small portion. However, both of these companies have been performing extremely well in the past. 
Hormel is up 14,000% since it started trading, not including dividends paid out, and the dividend yield is currently at 1.94%. And then Herdes is up 800% since it started trading, again, not including dividends, and its current dividend yield is at 2.96%. With all the companies I mentioned, you already have a list of several different publicly traded companies that offer exposure to avocados. And now the question is, do I own any of the stocks that I mentioned and what are my plans in terms of investing in avocados? Well, I actually do own one of the stocks I mentioned, which is Dole Foods, but to be honest, I didn't buy it because of the avocados, because as we also mentioned, the percentage of sales is extremely low, but mostly because of its business model, its positioning, the vertically integrated structure, and also the cheap valuation with regards to its competitors. So again, nothing to do with avocados. Then concerning investing in avocados, as we saw at the beginning with the statistics and the numbers, yes, it is clear and obvious that there are some issues going around the avocado industry in general, but the truth is that there are also many other industries which also have issues. And I'm not trying to say now that it is excusable what's happening with the avocado industry and what it's being done. I'm just saying that, of course, whenever we look closely into a company, we can always find bad things or into an industry. So nothing is perfect in the world. And just to mention a few other industries that are also a bit questionable would be, for instance, many utilities, energy companies, airlines, fashion brands, construction companies, and the list actually could be very long if we start getting very picky. So again, I would just leave it up to you to decide whether this is the right kind of investment for you or not. And what about you? Do you own any of the stocks that I just mentioned now or are you planning on buying any of them? Please let me know in the comments below. I also just want to highlight that I'm of course no financial advisor. Everything that I share in this video is just based on my opinion, my research, my calculations and all the stats that I could find. So I of course take no responsibility and you should always do your own due diligence whenever investing in any stock in the market or whatever you do with your money. So I just wanted to leave that very clear and also that the analysis that I did here on the companies was mostly just outlining which companies there are and very briefly their stock market performance and maybe the revenues but I didn't go into detail as I should have or as any investor should do whenever investing in stocks. With that said though, I will leave it for today. If you enjoyed the video then don't forget to give it a like as always, subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed and as always, see you next time.